you step down one of the brutalest and somewhat stubby 55 plus whacker from 1968 look like a giant pound sign or hashtag on your telephone originally home to blue cross blue shield i think it's now this office condo but do notice how the horizontal roof line of 55 is being respected by the building to its left in 35 west wacker 1989 by kevin roche and john dinkaloo clad with several different shades of dark granite that is headquarters to leo burnett the advertising firm was giving us all icons like tony the tiger jolly green giant see much about the hotel here to wire right because for me kind of ruins the street wall everything else is nice and flush against the sidewalk that building is set back and personally i just don't like the design i've never gone myself but i'm pretty sure the wet hotel to our right is state and lake by jackie cool is a rooftop bar one block over on wabash and lake and are gonna have the virgin hotel they too have a rooftop bar but everyone kind of falls in love. That green terracotta and gold leaf clad building two blocks in front to our right. There is real gold leaf on top. The carbide and carbon building from 1929 are deco by the Burnham Brothers. The sons of city planner and architect Daniel Burnham. It's rumored they got the influence from a champagne bottle. The of course is green with gold foil around top. Also realized design and built during prohibition. Kind of dumb their nose at that. Now a hotel. And directly to his right, looking like a sharpened pencil or a rocket ship about to blast off, Prudential Plaza Number 2, 1990. Spires on buildings like that work just fine. Nice street walk to our right, building side by side, very slender, neo-gothic building, initially called Mather Tower, named for Alonzo Mather, a railroad baron. It was going to be a twin on Michigan Avenue, but the Great Depression said nah. Now it's a hotel, skinniest skyscraper in Chicago. That's not the original crown on top, that's why it's a different color white. The original crown taken off 2000, 2001, structural problems. They built a prefabricated crown on the barge and lifted on top of the helicopter. Wedged in there like a cap after a root canal is an addition for the building right next door, originally the London Guaranteed and Accident Building, 1923. Back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, very popular jazz club in the base called London House. Building's been renovated, now a hotel called London House. Ever have time while you're here, do visit the rooftop bar, great views. But now to our left, so near Michigan Avenue, now 